Hello, I'm going to get straight into this. This is going to be a teardown of this 3 kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. I've got another video that I'm going to link down below about the overlook, the features and the benefits, but in this video it's just going to be solely doing inside. So let's cue comical fast forward. Right, just to make note, before I take the lid off, I've left this disconnected for a couple of days because I presume there'd be some high value capacitors inside. I uh, just want it to be stone dead before I open the top. So let's get to it. Just to keep the screws safe, I'm going to use a, a cheeky espresso cup right there. Right, let's get this lid off. So as I said before, this has been disconnected for a couple of days, so it's all going to be relatively safe. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video, make a note of where all the cables are connected, and then we'll get taken apart. I've already removed the protective cover from this side, and what you've got going on, very simply, is you have the DC input from this side, and it needs to be changed to an AC output on this side. So it's going through these MOSFETs here. And what these do is it reverses the current backwards and forwards, producing an AC output 50 Hz here. They produce a lot of heat, hence these bulky heat sinks. You've even got a temperature sensor on that side there. This is what is called the inverter. If the AC was getting converted to DC, this would then be called a rectifier. On this side you've got the toroidal transformer. This is the physically heaviest part of the inverter. This is where it ramps up the voltage to 240 volts output right here. This goes to this side here, which is all the UPS and control sides right through the black and white there to the output that way. Here's another look of the input side and you can see the row of blade fuses there all rated at 30 amps. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all the cables from there, remove the top boards and have a look underneath at the battery charger and the solar regulator. So let's cue another fast forward. A 
after removing that protective bit of the chassis there, it reveals another inverter side for the second input coming in through the Anderson connectors right there. You've got the battery charger as well as the solar charger right there that comes up through this ribbon cable. Very interestingly, it had this um, sec separate board connected to it, which were a couple of relays and it only had two wires going in and it took me a minute to work out how it actually worked but it's actually using the screws used to mount the board down as part of the circuit which I thought was actually very interesting but let's have a quick look on the front and then we'll wrap the video up just there we've got the power switch coming in just to one of the inverter boards and you've got the 25 amp main output breaker there there's not very much on the front board on the other side there's this um, piano key switch right there with different settings on and there's the tone buzzer there. there's a few pots on this that you can be adjusted but I don't even ask what they actually do um, can't sign off without showing you these PCB traces underneath the MOSFETs. It truly is a thing of beauty. Honestly, I wish I could describe how it actually feels when you run your fingers down these. But anyway, I'll catch you later.